Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Malta. So I'm on my summer holidays, we're in Malta and it is just absolutely gorgeous here. Actually, I tell a lie, we're actually on the island of Gozo today. We caught a ferry over from Malta and we're just spending the day here and it's just absolutely beautiful. I never realised that Malta and Gozo were so kind of like prehistoric in terms of their ancient history. So we've seen a lot of temples today actually predate the Egyptian pyramids so they're like over 5,000 years old like that is totally insane I'll insert some footage and I just thought I'd share and vlog my holiday I'm currently sitting in a citadel so um, they're building the citadel it's being funded by the European Union there's there's fiance there talking to I think some fellow travelers and um, it's just gorgeous here the weather is 32 degrees and it's just just I love it here it's so serene and peaceful and it it's not the usual kind of like um, beach holiday that we usually do we thought we'd do a bit more exploring this time but also our, our hotel is based on is near um, a really gorgeous beach so we will be having some R&R &R and things like that but this is much more of an exploration kind of holiday let me show you what's behind me so you've got the um, city over here this is the city of Victoria on Go in Gozo and then it's just a bar area and then over here is the more kind of arable land which is being farmed by the Gozans and and there's lots of flat um, flat top hills there really unusual I've never sort of seen them when we see a hill in in England they're kind of pointy at the top so um, yeah and the bells are ringing so I've just had an ice cream and I'm gonna go and have a glass of wine and just chill out but just wanted to say hi and I'm really happy to be filming and sharing this with you. We've just arrived at one of Gozo's most iconic locations and it is the Azure window behind me and it's a natural geological structure and as you can see it's just gorgeous, it's breathtaking. We've seen people climb to the edge there and get photos and it's just absolutely stunning. Also, the bay here is just natural rock that's been eroded and it's just gorgeous pan down there you'll be able to see it and we've got lots of people just milling around taking photographs but it is just absolutely stunning here and randomly there's a fire <laughs> someone's having a fire party up in the mountain which is really really random so yes I've got to say that um, Gozo is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to and that is just just gorgeous <laughs> Happy birthday! Spending your birthday in the beautiful Malta. Burgers and chips, right, digging in. Sam. Oh, it doesn't like that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, this is our room. Oh, let me show you the cupboard here. So we've got some clothes in here. That's the top I'm probably going to wear maybe tonight or tomorrow. I've got a blue dress here. That was a dress I picked up in the Lake District. Love this kind of leopard, black and red leopard print. So that's the wardrobe. And over here we've just got um, a desk where we've got some bits and bobs that we're going to have later. Actually yesterday it was Mel's birthday so this is his happy birthday my fiancé card. Got some other bits there. There's me, hello. Um, other bits, bag, TV, residual wrapping paper and oh dear the first night we got here I wore this um, leather skirt and then I sat down in the cab home and I heard this almighty rip and look, it's completely ruined, so I was a little bit upset at that. Um, that's the window, 
and oh let me show you what I got um, Mel for his birthday so he really wanted a battery tester now it's not really um, the coolest of gifts but it's really really fun oh there you go it's really functional because he's always buying gadgets and um, he if they don't work he never knows whether it's the gadget itself or <laughs> stop it <laughs> if it's the gadget itself or the fact that the batteries are dead so um, very cool gift. I'll link this down below if you're interested in it. It's a very manly kind of gift. And then I also got him, oh, this is a really nice one, um, Tom Ford. Oh, can we see it? Oops, there you go. Tom Ford for men aftershave. This is really, really nice. It's a really lovely kind of woody masculine fragrance and um, he really likes it. And you know, Tom Ford isn't cheap. And I would say it's pretty much the epitome of men's luxury. So if you've got a, a very special man in your life, then maybe you should check this out if you're if you're looking for a gift or something, because Mel really, really liked it. Um, what else have we got? Um, the Lord and Master is actually there. So <laughs> there's our bed. And this is our bathroom. That's our luggage. So we flew with EasyJet. And um, easy to charge you to like uh, check in cabin luggage. So we just bought hand luggage. So we were quite restricted with the liquids that we could and couldn't bring. So it was quite, quite tricky. But um, I've got this little bag here and these are all my miniatures. So I've got all the miniature things. They all have to be under hundred mil. So let me just show you quickly some of the things that I've got. So what's this? This is a Clarins Brrr Regenerante Night Cream, so just a night cream. Um, I picked up a whole load of these Clarins eye makeup removers when I was last there and I was picking up some other stuff. So I definitely think that, um, sorry it's not in focus, picking up miniatures is the way to go if you're travelling really light. Hey guys, we're just heading off to dinner tonight. We're having dinner in the restaurant and it's an Indian buffet so hopefully it's eat as much as you like. And I'm sure we'll be going up several times, eh? <laughs> oh, let me do a quick outfit of the day. Um, this is just a blue one shoulder dress that I picked up from Lipsy. And I've just got some black high heels. City. and actually when I showed you the azure window the beautiful azure window I didn't realize at the time it was only until this morning at breakfast that I was reading up on um, the um, website that Game of Thrones was filmed there so do you remember in season one Daenerys Targaryen marries Khal Drogo and that is where they got married um, so the whole scene was based at the azure window which is such an interesting fact I've actually gone there and seen it and obviously shared it with you guys so yes today we're on our way to Medina and there they in the first season they also based Westeros and I think the Red Keep there so gonna go and check it out take you guys with us um, yeah we've hired a car we've got our driver there hello Mel everyone in internet friends this is Mel I don't think I've officially introduced you and I know it's really a bit difficult now because he's driving but today is our four year anniversary so we met four years ago on this day and it's really really lovely just to be together and explore and just ex and especially go and see these Game of Thrones locations because you guys know I'm a real Game of Thrones fan I'll get Mel to tell you some um, historical facts about Malta or Medina at least what's the historical facts there's too many. There's too many. <laughs> One of the like more interesting ones, maybe. Okay. The citadel of Medina was fortified from the earliest times, as long as ago as 1000 BC. The Phoenicians had built a protective wall here and called their settlement Malay, meaning place of shelter. The Romans built a large town here and called it Melita. Mel. Melita. <laughs> Was given its present name when the Arabs arrived in the 19th century. Medina is Arabic for walled city. They built strong walls and dug a deep moat between Medina and its suburbs, known as Rabat in Arabic. Yeah, so there's a lot of um, east meets west here. So even though 
it, it's, Euro, it's in the European Union, like of ancient times, the Ottomans came here and the Turks, and um, I think about their last conqueror was um, before the British, were the Arabs, so a lot of the cities and the towns here don't have English names or even like Italian names, but um, rather Arabic names like um, Il Mostar and things like that. The original Norman church, where are we now? The original Norman church was destroyed by an earthquake and the restrained Baroque edifice that you see today was built between 1697 and 1702 by Lorenzo Gaffney. Oh my goodness, how <laughs> cute! Cat is all over his roof. <laughs> It is, isn't it? <laughs> okay, we're going to go and get some lunch now. I've got a new vlogging camera. I wonder if you, what you guys think of like the quality. It's a Sony, and I'll probably do a review on this because I've been really, really impressed. There's a little viewfinder thing that you can flip up, so it's got a flip-up LCD screen. And it's really, really good. <laughs> That's good. So this is the thing you didn't want me to say. <laughs> Excellent! Wow! I'm gonna get to meet Princess Leia. <laughs> <laughs> From which film? Star Wars. <laughs> awesome! So as an anniversary present, I got Mel a ticket for London Comic Con, Winter Comic Con, and it's gonna be in October and I got him a photo shoot with none other than Princess Leia um, who's, play, who's played by Carrie Fisher in the Star Wars movies so super exciting. We've just walked down to the town of Rabat and we've come to St Agatha's which is a really old like um, what is it like crypts and catacombs which are basically tombs underneath the caves and we're in a museum at the moment and it looks like something out of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade it's crazy so let me show you some of the really interesting things they've got here um, okay, this is a little bit creepy, but there's skulls here and things. How old are the skulls? Doesn't say. Yeah, but that's kind of mad. That's actually like a person's head. It was a person's head. You've got femurs and pelvic bones here. This is like a library of archaeological finds. It really is quite impressive. Reminds me of when I studied like classical civilization at school and learning about all the different like um oh. oh gosh look it's actually a human skeleton that is I'm really sorry but that is a little bit creepy city of Malta and we're gonna get on a horse and carriage and go for a wee ride around the parks. Ooh. Ooh, it's quite high up this here. My oh. anniversary gift to you. Oh. Instead of the card. Okay. Oh thank you. Yeah, I we... get a horse ride. <laughs> with his photographs and there's just loads of memorabilia about him as well. So he was a really well-known actor, he was in not only in Oliver, he was in Gladiator as well and 
this pub really is. Oh, look, that's a nice photo of him. This pub really is a homage to him and his work. And he used to frequent here. This is his local pub in Malta, like when he used to visit. And like I said before, you can ask over there. It's like crazy. And it's, it's really nice to drink and have a little, just to remember him, because he was a great British actor. And he's to uh, Oliver Sykes. Oliver, what's his name? Here's to Oliver Reed, Bill Sykes, Oliver Twist. <laughs> Cheers, mate. The Blue Lagoon, gorgeous blue water, lots of people swimming. Popeye. I think it's quite an old film. I haven't watched it, but um, the other half has, Mel, and um, he's going to make me watch it when we get back. Anyway, so they spe specially built this whole entire set, this whole village, just for the film, and it's still here to this day. So, I mean, it's fantastic. Gig, 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 gig. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I think that's great. They're actually like proper sized houses, they're not like miniatures. So that blue, that blue building is the post office, you've got the bakers there. I think that, that must be the bank with the dollar sign. So you know Robin Williams died recently and he was just one of my all time favourite childhood actors. I, I loved him in Mrs Doubtfire, I love that movie, that brings back so many happy memories. Oh my goodness, I just ordered chicken Caesar salad and this is a chicken Caesar salad like no other. Look at the sizes of this piece of chicken, amazing. I also wanted to show you that um, over here, We've got some, we've got the lifeguard doing some um, water aerobics, so that's quite funny. I would, put, I would take part, but I just need to eat my lunch. <laughs> and I thought I'd show you the, um, the view from our hotel. So this is Golden Bay. There's a beach down there. Gosh, those motorbikes are so loud. Um, so the beach down there. Um, the sea. It's a little bit, well, it's, it's a little bit cloudy today. Oh, look, someone's going off on their jet ski. Never been on a jet ski. Really want to do that one day. Um, and some boats out to sea as well. But I don't think the camera's going to pick it up. But round here, it's just really, really shallow. When the sun's out, you can see how kind of turquoise and blue it is. 